Hey there. Got my box jersey on. Green and gold. I got a cop full of Sutless Academy. Um, wanted to shoot a video just talking about a little bit of a pet peeve of mine concerning um, online tobacco descriptions either by people on a forum sometimes by something like tobacco reviews or descriptions on a website um, um, and it concerns two particular descriptions of uh, two particular uh, leaf varieties, varieties of tobacco. And those are Latakia and Dark Fried Kentucky. Um, people say when they describe these sometimes, they'll describe Latakia as an oriental and they'll describe Kentucky as a burly. And people that do so are correct. It's dark-fired Kentucky Burley, and Latakia is named after a city in Syria, which makes it an Oriental. But I don't find describing something, for instance, Three Nuns, as a Virginia Burley blend to be a very good description. Um, it's, I just don't think it's a helpful description. And that is because there's a difference between the type of leaf and the way it's processed. And sometimes that makes a very significant difference. Latakia is an oriental variety, but it's one uh, that is in particular smoke cured. And most of its flavor and the distinctiveness of Latakia, the reason you either love it or you hate it, uh, probably has to do with how smoky and pungent the smokiness of the flavor of that particular varietal is. All of the other oriental varieties don't have that smoky flavor because they're not smoke cured. I don't recall off the top of my head. They may be sun cured or I don't know how they cure, they generally cure their, the orientals. Um, but it's not, it's not the smoke curing and that's what makes Latakia taste like Latakia. Same goes for Kentucky Burley. Um, Kentucky Burley is dark fired. Most Burley is just air cured, but I guess in a way maybe slightly similar to Latakia, the fire curing of Kentucky Burley gives it a distinct from Latakia, but its own uh, very significant flavor that if you've had something like Carter Hall that doesn't taste like dark fired Kentucky Burley, if you say, smoke something like um, Cube Cut by Peter Stokeby. It's a Virginia Burley blend that's Cube Cut. It's kind of nutty, a little earthy, not as sweet as a Virginia. It has that uh, Burley component to it, but it has none of the flavor that you're going to get when you throw Kentucky in a blend, as you would in Amsterdam or luxury uh, not luxury, uh, the Superior Round Slices by Newminster, or blends such as these. Um, it, the, the fire curing that makes them uh, dark fired burly it has a significant impact on the flavor. And so, when somebody says that Three Nuns, or any of those other blends I've mentioned, Old Dark Fired, is you say it's a Virginia Burley blend, or you say that um, a Virginia Latakia is an oriental mixture, you've not said something untrue, but you've possibly been misleading because you've left out something that is true.
you left out the fact that the Oriental is Latakia, which is different because of the way it's cured. And you've left out the fact that the Burley in, in uh, Three Nuns, for instance, is a dark fried Kentucky Burley. So that's a pet peeve of mine. Um, if you smoke some Peter Stokeby's Cube Cut, or you know whatever else it might be, Tom Eltang's mixture. Uh, it's a Virginia Burley Perique. If you smoke a, you know a blend like Big and Burley by Cornell and Deal, you get Burley, but you don't get dark, dark fired Burley. There have a bit different flavor. So that's my pet peeve. Um, it's more helpful if you'd be more specific when you describe those things. If you're talking to somebody or recommending blends. If you're browsing the internet and you're looking around and you see something that says Virginia Burley. See if you can dig a little further and find out when trying to develop your palate, develop your sense of what kind of blends you like. Is this a Virginia air cured burly or fire cured burly that's blended with the Virginias? You may not like fire cured burly. I love it. I uh, have really been getting into the fire cured blends as of late. On the other hand, I have generally not been thoroughly impressed with blends that have a huge portion of air cured standard vanilla. Burley, not vanilla flavored, but you know your standard air cured Burley is not my favorite leaf. I you know don't mind a little bit of it to give some earthy quality. It's a nice change of pace, but Big and Burley I just don't like, and I need to try some others. I've got you know I've got Old Joe Prance, I've got Age Burley Flake in the cellar. Those wait to be cracked, but I've liked just about everything I've had with Kentucky in it. So um, figure out the difference. Learn the difference, and don't mislead people by obscuring the difference. Sorry, this has been a long rant, um, but I hope it's been helpful for those of you kind of discerning your uh, different tobacco preferences and tendencies and things like that. Cheers.